dozens of iron workers in northern Alberta were laid off, only to see their jobs filled temporarily by foreign workers, paid less than half what they were making. The Conservatives know full well that some companies are continuing to abuse the temporary foreign workers program. What is the Minister doing to investigate and to help these iron workers get their jobs back? Honourable Minister of Social Development, Minister of State. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the allegations in question are very troubling. We have instructed officials to review this case on an urgent basis. Mr. Speaker, our government wants to make sure that Canadians get first crack at any job that is available. That's why we've made important changes to the Temporary Foreign Worker Program. That's why we continue to review it. Mr. Speaker, make no mistake, any employer who tries to abuse the Temporary Foreign Worker, worker Program will be held to account. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Edmonton Strathcona. Here's what some of those changes have caused. The abuse of the Temporary Foreign Worker Program has become a fiasco under this government. They created the Alberta Occupation Specific Pilot Project, which allows companies to hire foreign workers absent accurate labour market opinions. These giant loopholes allow companies to abuse the program. When will the Minister stand up, apologize to these workers for failing to protect their jobs, and fix the Temporary Foreign Worker yeah, yeah, yeah. Program? Minister of State for Social Development. Well, Mr. Speaker, the fact is we're the government that is making changes to the Temporary Foreign Worker Program to make sure it's more accountable. Here's what doesn't help, though, Mr. Speaker, is when the NDP continually ask us to bring temporary foreign workers into their riding. The NDP Deputy Leader and MP for Vancouver East has been asking us. The NDP MP for Halifax. The MP for Ottawa Centre. The MP for Thunder Bay, uh, Rainy River. Mr. Speaker, I have a whole list. That's not helping. We want Canadians to get first crack at every job that's our that's available in this country.